प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनीज फॉलो एनपीडी और एनपीआई प्रोसेस फॉर न्यू प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन एंड डेवलपमेंट सो इन डेप नॉलेज ऑफ एनपीडी और एनपीआई प्रोसेस इज वेरी एसेंशियल स्किल टू गेट जॉब एज ए डिजाइन इंजीनियर विद प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनीज और बिग ब्रांड्स My name is Kevin Kutto, and in this video, I am going to introduce you to the NPD or NPI process. If you find this knowledge useful, you can help me by subscribing to the YouTube channel and liking this video. Let's begin this video with a basic question: What is product design all about? So, product design is a combination of art and engineering to transform voice of customers into a tangible, working, functional product to meet all the requirements. critical stakeholders in any design are end users companies internal departments such as manufacturing assembly quality safety or reliability suppliers of the company companies investors who buy the shares and provide source of funding for new design and development dealers who sell the products for the companies and government agencies which ensure compliance to the safety and environmental regulations now companies new launches are always aligned with the needs of all these stakeholders now generally companies announce the launch dates to the market in advance to create buzz in the market and retain potential customers and attract investors and facilitate early bookings by the dealers like ola electricals or tesla cyber trucks helped these companies to create huge buzz in the market as well as multiply their share values and investments by declaring early launch dates and teaser models on flip side if companies fail to launch the product on time then customers lose faith in the company brand lose credibility it also means that investors and dealers might have to bear financial losses and also our loss means competitors gain so not meeting the commitment of launch dates could be suicidal for the companies and that's why it's critical for the product based companies to make this entire process of transforming voice of customer into functional product more and more predictable and that's the reason why we have npd or npi process NPD stands for new product development and NPI stands for new product initiative or initiation now this NPD NPI process has hundreds of tools and techniques but in this video i would introduce you to the overall NPD process the first phase of NPD is exploring market opportunities and setting the product targets in this phase basically we choose the technology which could win in the market and define technical as well as craftsmanship related targets the aim of this phase is to transform vague voice of customers into measurable and specific technical specifications which we need in order to design as well as to test the product we can use the tools like quality function deployment in order to convert this vague voice of customers into technical specifications the second phase of npd is brainstorming and concept selection in this phase we brainstorm multiple ideas to meet these specifications by using brainstorming techniques and then select the potential idea by using pu matrix now before we select the potential idea we need to conduct preliminary evaluations using simulations and prototypes we also have to collect the preliminary cost informations and all this information is going to help us to select the best concept out of the lot the third phase of npd is detail system design and concept feasibility this is the phase where we as a design engineers have to prove the concept and detail out each part into the manufacturing and assembly levels we have to conduct detailed simulations prototype evaluations we have to define interfaces and ensure product meets bill of material cost we have to also complete design failure mode and defect analysis that means dfma and stack up evaluations to make sure that all our parts will be assemblable in worst case this is the phase where design engineers have to spend most of their efforts and time because proving the concept is not an easy task the fourth phase is design release phase 
In this phase, we release our CAD models, drawings, manufacturing bill of materials, assemblies for the stakeholders via ECN process, that means engineering change notice process. Any change in design after this phase has to be managed through the change management process. This process ensures that all our stakeholders always have the latest CAD models and design and drawing information. The fifth phase of NPD is process and tool design. In this phase, process engineers and development engineers design each process step to manufacture as well as assembly of the product. All our plastic, sheet metal, casting, forging tools, jig fixtures and measurement gauges are designed and manufactured into this phase itself. The sixth phase of NPD is process and product validation. In this phase, we do first part approval. That means approval of the parts which are coming out of the tools. These are new parts coming out of the new tools. And then PPAP approvals, run pre-production builds and test the product as per the government agency requirements as well as company's own internal requirements. This is the phase in which process and product is approved and validated and we begin the production once everything passes the requirements. The seventh phase is lessons learned. Even though we keep on learning and documenting our knowledge throughout the NPD process, we also have a formal event at the end of NPD phase to contemplate on what we did good and what are our improvement areas. Each phase of NPD has tons of inputs and we transform those inputs into outputs by using tools, techniques and methodologies. To learn NPD process and core design skills in details, you can visit designgeeks.com. Also, if you like the content, subscribe and give thumbs up. Take care. Bye-bye.